on Davido, I've read a lot of things going on. I've read people saying all kinds of stuff about Davido used his bodyguard for money rituals, for black acts, cult activities, this one, that one. Please don't tag my name to any of that nonsense, okay? I've been off social media for two, three days, and I'm going to be like that because my work is not on social media. My new job as a health and medical consultant is not really going to be on social media. My handle is just going to be to reach out to you guys, give you some motivational messages, and so on and so forth. So that's why I want everybody to follow me at Kemi Lunoya TV. It's back. Um, the premium channel is back. It's free. Everybody can watch. Everybody can subscribe. Regarding Davido's bodyguard, TJ Tijani, may he rest in peace. It's really a shame that this happened. Um, when somebody is mourning, you have to allow them to mourn. December is not a good time for me. Ulike died in December. My brother, Ulike, was a lawyer. He was 17 when he died in 1999. Ulike would have been 30-something years old, 37 self. At the end of the day, Davido has lost a lot of friends. Davido has lost a lot of family. Um, Tiwa Savage, by the way, thank you very much for the message that you sent me on ending the beef with Davido, ending with everybody. You know, Davido and I will talk. We'll, we'll eventually reach out to every each other and all that. But I'm probably not going to do any other social media stuff. But he's like a child to me. Yes, I was Veronica's friend and all, but he was very young to know his childhood and who were, who were his relatives and his mother's friends. Um, so, David, um, my condolences on your bodyguard. Uh, Tagbo, Chime, DJ Olu, his mother, just so many people have died in his life. And I just pray that God gives David a lot of strength to move on.